English 351651, Wordsworth in a Circle. This is the sixth uh, lecture on Hazlitt. In this lecture, I will uh, briefly consider Hazlitt's essay on the pleasure of hating from 1826. I have to say I love this essay. I teach it in my creative writing workshops almost every semester as a way to fight against sentimentality. Uh, in this essay, Hazlitt is speaking feelings and perhaps truths th that all of us have felt, that all of us have thought, but are usually afraid to say. Um, in, in saying, for instance, that we all enjoy schadenfreude, and we all enjoy the failure of others, uh, that's probably quite accurate, but probably most of us don't want to admit that. So in this essay um, on the pleasure of hating, we see what is really Hazlitt's primary gift as an essay writer. And that is, as I've mentioned, this very raw candor. Um, Hazlitt is not afraid to say anything um, if he feels that it is true. Now this got Hazlitt in trouble oftentimes in his social relationships. I've already mentioned some of his fallings out. Um, th there's another famous moment in his life where he was at a gathering uh, Charles Lamb was there, and Charles Lamb's older brother, John Lamb, was there. Um, and apparently they got into an argument over uh, two different painters and the coloring in different painters. And they got so mad at each other that John Lamb slugged Hazlitt. <laughs> and slugged him hard, knocked him back. And when the two men were trying to, to make up, Hazlitt said, oh, oh I'm fine to shake hands. Uh, a fist couldn't hurt me, only an idea can hurt me. I'm, I'm paraphrasing that. Uh, so Hazlitt could certainly pick verbal fights um, as well as, um, in that case, a, a physical fight. So we see that, 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 that open-faced uh, contempt and bitterness and, and rancor, um, dislike, all there and on the pleasure of hating. Um, rendered in a somewhat witty way. Now we do see the irony in this piece that we saw in other pieces, the irony being of course that a, a characteristic hatred that, that most of us would not like, uh, Hazlitt praises for its energy, for its vigor. And um, so there is a there is a double vision running throughout the entire piece that 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 sense that he is constantly undercutting um, what we would expect to be the case. But I really want to focus on one particular um, stylistic trait in this essay. Uh, in discussing the fight and in discussing the Indian jugglers, um, I tried to point out passages where Hazlitt seems to be mimicking in writing with his with his syntax, with his punctuation, with his tropes, with his figures. He seems to be imitating in writing the subject that he is writing about. Um, he seems to be trying to mimic the punches of a fighter in the fight. He seems to be trying to imitate uh, the act of juggling in the Indian jugglers. And here, um, in On the Pleasure of Hating, in, in one particular passage, we see Hazlitt using you know, short blunt sentences um, piled one on the other almost as if he wants his language to be punching us or, or stabbing us. Hazlitt was brilliant at writing really long, sinuous, flexible, supple sentences um, that could contain a complexity of, of thoughts and feelings. But also he was a master at, at, the, at the short, stark, stabbing sentence uh, that could get across a rather simple thought or feeling. And here is what happens um, in the essay. Well, let me see where I want to start. Um, we revenge injuries. We repay benefits with ingratitude. Even our strongest partialities and likings soon take their turn. That which was lustrous. Let me start over on that. I, I botched that. I, I, I apologize um, for that. Um, he says, we revenge injuries. We repay benefits with ingratitude. Even our strongest partialities and likings soon take their turn. That which was luscious as locusts anon becomes as bitter as colon quintida. 
and love and friendship melt in their own fires. We hate old friends. We hate old books. We hate old opinions. And at last we come to hate ourselves. So there's the Hazlitt saying things that most of us would not say. Um, some would say this is a virtue in Hazlitt's writing. I would. It shows great literary courage. Um, others might say that it shows Hazlitt at his worst, someone who is uh, celebrating uh, rancor and, and bitterness and contempt um, in, in ways that, that are unseemly. And also we see in this essay not only Hazlitt doing that, practicing his extreme candor, but doing so in sentences that are appropriate to the kind of violent um, feeling that he is describing.